Dan and Josh here from the Acoustic Centre. A special one today. Josh, you are holding what I think is one of the most desirable electric guitars we've had in the shop in recent times. It is. This is the Gibson Custom Shop BB King Lucille Legacy model, which is now uh, back as a regular model in the Artist Core, yep. uh, in the Gibson Artist Core lineup. This yep. is a beautiful guitar and a bit different from your typical Gibson. So cool. Yeah. You and I both love a 335. Don't we what? And uh, I'd just like to say, this is not a 335. Thank you. Believe it or not. Well, I can say that <laughs> I admired it hanging on the shop wall for a good day or so before I realised it didn't have F-holes. Okay, so that's one thing <laughs> yeah. that is completely different to a 335. Yeah. But this is a 355, okay? Yes. So a 355 is like an upgraded, cosmetically uh, changed, you know, the, the presentation series like 335, it. if like you will. Yeah. And also we've got a Veritone switch on it. And as you just said, no F-holes mm. as per BB's spec. Yeah. Which uh, at first you're kind of like, you look at it and you go... <laughs> What's different about that guitar? And then you go, okay, yeah, no f holes. So, and how good does it look? It actually looks incredible, yeah. and it's one of those guitars that if you're someone who plays the rock music mm -hmm. with uh, volume, with gusto, with gusto, if you will, <laughs> you can get a little more volume out of this guitar. Mm -hmm. You know, and I've I've been on stage where we've been playing at volume and. If you've got a guitar with f holes, you can certainly feel the air mm -hmm. rushing out of that guitar. Mm -hmm. Have you experienced that before? No, I've only ever turned up to one, but uh, one day I hope to get there, Joshy. I hope to get there. Yeah. So Let's talk about the finish. Okay. It looks black from back there, probably, but up close, it's what they call a transparent ebony finish, where you can actually see through into the figure of the maple top. It's a gorgeous finish, isn't it, when you get up close to it? Yeah, so, sometimes you, you can see a flame top and it, it could be, the colour could maybe be a little over the top, a mm. little gaudy. Mm. This is so subtle and beautiful. It goes right around the back. Yeah. But you have to look up quite close and then you go, hmm. Yeah, so it's not jet black. It's no. it's, it's translucent. Yep. Um, it's a few interesting points about it. Talk yep. us through it. Let's start off with the bridge, which is interesting. Okay, micro tuners. I forgot the exact title of Maybe that. the T-Pro, something like that, yeah. that bridge. Uh, but it actually works. Just subtle movements make huge differences, you know. So you, Something you don't see very often. Yeah, but we were it's using, very it clever. using it before. Yeah. It's fully usable yep. and great. You yep. can just... And it's convenient with the right hand tune on the fly just little increments and it works really well well i mean it's clever it's like you're playing away and just like little movement you can hear something's pulling a little bit out g yeah. or b just pull it in a little bit and yeah. keep going yeah you know, it's it's really good uh did you mention the lucille there the lucille on the headstock uh bb king on the uh, truss rod cover plate yeah i can hear dance music we're in our undisclosed <laughs> tone bunker of an undisclosed <laughs> location someone outside's cranking up the beats uh, that could be uh, disco dancing yeah you know? let's hope that doesn't interfere <laughs> uh um, moving on binding seven ply yeah uh so when you look at this next to a 335 it, it actually looks quite different seeing that strip all the way around the mm -hmm. edge and it really really sticks out when you look at a couple of 335s next to each other let's have another listen these are custom buckers we're going through a tweed blues junior nothing fancy let's see what it can do so first pick up so uh, neck to sort of jazz, I mm. guess. You know, middle position is that classic. The fuck. Anywhere from BB to the meters, and the back pick, of course, is just pure. With a 
list too long to mention Way of the people long. who've played a Gibson guitar. Yeah. You know? Talk us through the Veritone. It's basically a, a notch filter of sorts, isn't yep. it? As you move it around, it pulls out different frequencies. So, yeah, a notch filter... Different frequencies, uh, they, they need to be to be explored to really be understood and appreciated. Yeah. Uh, and so it's difficult to de demonstrate all this sort of sound, but if we just go to middle setting, which yep. is both pickups, mm -hmm. you hear that. So that's fully open? That's fully open. Yeah. You know, that kind of... What you read, baby, love the middle pickup position with yeah. the baritone on two. You That's know. the sound. Sorry, we need Kirk Fletcher here. You know, we do. Get Kirk Fletcher oh. here right now <laughs> to demonstrate BB King licks. Yeah, <laughs> take me round to number five, Joshy. This is where things really get interesting. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> Yeah, it's a transistor radio kind of yeah, a tone. Yeah, really you know? cool. So, yeah, it's it's great. You well, know? there you have it. Yeah. Love the tortoise pick guard on the black. Yeah, well, I think everything aesthetically on this guitar is perfect. Uh, parallelograms. Split blocks, I think yeah, they call well, them. I think that's what they call them. It's so matching, it even matches the lead, you know? Perfect. <laughs> now, it's just an unreal guitar. So desirable. It's the first one we've had. We're excited to have it. And, you, you know, it's not just a guitar for playing BB King looks either. You know, it's a super sure. versatile guitar that is, it's really lends itself to anything. You can get Les mm. Paul tones, jazz tones. Mm. It's got no F holes, so if you're going to rock, you can play the rock on it. It's yeah. unreal. Love it. Love it. Beautifully done, Joshy. Mm -hmm. um, take us out with a few chords. Thank you. 